way that you can. That is uh, the Malayan captain Uhaji Iwali, who is a very influential player, this uh, young man. And uh, he will now want to monitor and uh, just uh, speak to his teammates against this man, Steve Damasub. Uh, under 17, a uh, man of the match, and made his debut at uh, Seychelles. Now, this is uh, the main man, Patrick. Mabedi, head coach of uh, Malawi, a former South African footballer with uh, Kings of Chiefs. And, uh, Kings, uh, this man, James uh, Brett uh, from uh, Namibia. I can tell you that uh, the wind is uh, not doing justice to any of us, uh, including our camera crews at the back. They just uh, are getting some uh, uh, push from the wind. Uh, if a cameraman <laughs> is uh, finding it hard to be steady, can safely tell you that uh, the wind uh, speed is uh, just uh, getting uh, thicker and faster and uh, it affects the gameplay if you can see the trees are just uh, blowing away like that uh, man we can only hope that uh, what coach uh, Patrick Mavedi said that keep the balls on the ground keep the balls on the ground and pass one another keep the passes shorter rather than making uh, them long will be the best way for this team to survive or oh, any anyway, of the two sides i mean three points are at stake other one wants to make a six another one wants to survive and uh, at least uh, find themselves uh, making a four no and off we go is that <laughs> the whistle is gone and now we just uh, colliding with each other there and, uh, Zambian side wanting to launch it forward to try and uh, get a goal if they can. The ball played uh, over but Haji Haji is there to just uh, guide it into the keeper's hands. Uh, played long by Malawi is just uh, trying to get an early goal which will be a best option for them but it uh, seems like uh, Zambia and Saira are just uh, clearing everything and getting everything out of uh, the danger zone ball uh, in the centre just calmly so connected by Chipenda Njambi Karumbe Coach uh, forever on his feet and uh, just encouraging his youngsters to keep going and keep going. Uh, a switch of play uh, to uh, the big man at the center there. That's uh, Ngazikwe Katendu. Paul is uh, played wide across his pudding. Well, a goal kick for Namibia to start it uh, proper. Honestly, he's driven to the number nine by that man, Giovanni Kanibab. Man has scored eight goals already in his uh, national team. A strike is taken, but well, ambitious, ambitious uh, he is. Anything can happen. We've seen balls uh, taken outside the 18 area and just uh, resulting into a goal. As the coach will be a very vocal, very loud and uh, shouting instructions to his players that uh, they need to gear up, they need to be consistent with uh, going forward. And, uh, for Namibia, you know very well that uh, you've played one game and uh, you've lost one and uh, getting a uh, three points would uh, put them at a position where they need to fight another day. And if uh, the game goes Malawi way, clearly Malawi are the team to 
advance as well as Zambia who have just a bit Comoros ball in the center of the park and a, a foul just happened Now it seems to be a miss kick or miss touch of a ball in the center and uh, ball in favor of uh, Malawi now uh, just uh, advancing it and uh, can we get across uh, from uh, the young man but uh, decides to backpedal that is uh, Benua Kanji the ball in the center of the park uh, by Malawi poker away and that man Langes in coma Ball uh, played on the side to Haji. Another, not Haji. My apologies. That is Janino Jante. A uh, big man, uh, Ravuka Gatenguo, picks uh, that one. And that is Janino Jante. Now we're looking uh, to go long and uh, just a uh, long. And a draw still puts Malawi at a better place in this uh, a tournament because uh, they leave uh, to fight another day too. So two sides that have uh, hopes high in them. So, tiny man uh, with pace. That is uh, Yomikani Mulungeni. Ball uh, driven uh, long uh, behind the defense, uh, but uh, cleared away by Malawi. Oh, Zambia is on the ball and punches it up. I think if uh, they keep on uh, uh, playing them up, it's going to be a challenge for Namibia uh, to just uh, advance uh, forward because. They would want to keep the ball down uh, most of the time. And as a, a Prince Chueza. And a bit of a, a foul coming there from the young man. Malawi. Yes. Finding uh, Yamikani. And the ball not reaching him. Taking long, but uh, still cleared. <laughs> the center of the park seems to be congested with uh, Patrick Mwanguru alongside uh, David Tawudi. to our friend David the man is sitting on a yellow card oh that is a uh, Chiwani David uh, from a previous match he got himself uh, um, registered in the referees books uh, Namibia trying by all means just to push forward and uh, do a high pressing that is the likes of Penuva Kanji just uh, uh, pushing oh, forward, really? just uh, putting pressure and pressure. Oh, Langer Singoma says, uh, they holding me, refer This man, that is uh, Baggio Nashitra, who's uh, uh, playing his second game 
um, with the national team. No communication there. Eh? Oh, no data. No network, brother. They should have uh, communicated better. That is. Giovanni Kanebab. Malawi on the bike here have uh, numbers in the box but uh, not sharing of the ball and Jesse Ngoma could have uh, laid it for his teammate who was right next to him man. and this man uh, Baggio just uh, clears it away still a scrappy game about a 10 here Denied the run by this man, but he still gives him the ball, and a shot has been taken in. And I can tell you that Malawi have got in a goal. The keeper wasn't aware. Langesi Ngoma persisting and putting pressure. And then look at them now. They're saying we score an early goal. Oh, I can tell you, Ubajo Nashicho would know better when to clear the ball and how. If he doesn't clear the ball on time, look at how scrappy this ball is going to this man, Langesi Ngoma, who profits again and just puts pressure to Pajo, and Pajo eventually loses the ball, and he was just coming from the ground and just kept his ground again, putting pressure, and Pajo was unable to get that one cleared off. A keeper, Rahuka Ngutangua, was a left a uh, ball watching there's a goal scorer that is Langesi Nkoma uh, doing uh, things that could be bookable uh, can't be blowing your nose like this uh, well, Namibia 0 and uh, Malawi 1 uh, an ambitious strike coming from that number 10 the priest uh, Chueza oh he's got six goals for the national team and uh, a versatile player that is the coach will then look at to relocating his players, his troops. I played long to somehow a player tend to into the weakest link. Uh, back heel to Malawi that uh, we've been across to find that big man again. It's just a showing of start and that's a bookable offense indeed an unnegotiable young man that is Zebron Kalima who just showed stars when going for that ball and, uh, knew that uh, he had no much of a intent to go for the ball was too far was just making a jumper stretching himself rather and uh, it resulted into him uh, being booked uh, namibia now on the ball that is edma kamatuka oh malawi quickly to win it and get it off the danger zone that is their own half now the ball rolled to find a big big man up front that is uh, the number 18 langesi ngoma i think uh, the wind is uh, just uh, playing its part as well you can tell by the flag of uh, the assistant roof on the on this side of the pitch Ball uh, launched long by Haji Wali, the captain. Uh, just uh, given instruction that go long uh, back to this man uh, Biliati. Again, the goal scorer that is. Well, uh, Malawi inside would want to. to just to keep the ball and just keep it running for themselves uh, so that they don't concede now here's the big man throws his body in front i think he's find his target man uh, with that uh, number 19 uh, bajio nashitra unable to contain uh, the big man and Ngoma. now again uh, malawi in the front foot in the box combining touches and uh, too much weight on the ball he could have taken responsibility 
himself and not uh, leaded for Zebron Kalima. Yes, he was on the run and onside too, but an angle is very tight. Oh, the angle is tight. You don't uh, do it like that. Uh, ball with Edma Kamatuka back to Kamatuka from Prince and he whips in across. Can they go to goal? And here's the keeper uh, charging out of uh, nowhere. And uh, this man, uh, Jonito Jante, uh, says, uh, My man, if you bring them in like that, I'm most likely going to score them. Also, uh, Jonino Jante. That was a, a good full show of the prior Jonino. And a good, beautiful equalizer. Let's give the credit to Prince Chueza. And this man, Edma Kamatuka, just inviting the keeper with that cross and it draws him out. And this man, Joninho Chueza, says, Thank you for the pass. Thank you for inviting the keeper to your party. I will just stall this show for him. Well, good goal. Well, good comeback as well. 14 minutes into the game. Already seeing uh, two goals. Oh, another attempted goal uh, going long. And ambitious uh, strikes and uh, the wind also was going to give it a bit of uh, pressure. Oh, score confirmation says Namibia won and uh, Malawi won. Tired young man, uh, that is the uh, chief uh, Ninjambi Karumbe. Uh, Namibian names are uh, shined like uh, very interesting names. Uh, just lacking a name by uh, Sarona. <laughs> uh, well, told you that. Uh, Young man cannot take advantage and say, ah, it's ladies, they want to give us cards. Oh, you're playing, young man, already. Juan has uh, gotten themselves in the book. And uh, I must say that uh, officials are just uh, doing a great job. And uh, they're not favoring anyone. Well, a ball played and it deflects off the head, luckily, uh, for oh that uh, man. And the goal post, uh, Ruhuka Ngatangwa, was uh, able to just uh, watch it uh, away from the frame of goal. And I'm looking to maybe get a goal in this uh, first stanza of uh, the match. Some would say corner to goal, some say corner to counter. Well, it rolled in it to the first pole, but uh, they were lacking numbers. And the keeper was a late. That is Ravuka. This time around, this man wasn't able to get himself in the goal scorer's books. That was Langes in coma. A pace coming from Prince Echueza, able to get a cross in. Oh, idea is uh, find the big man, uh, play them long. He will run them down uh, 17 versus 18. Now, if, uh, for fairness, she called him Bella diving over the centre back in Gazikwe. But uh, ref not giving a foul to Namibia. Here's the pass that uh, resulted into him uh, being kicked. No, it was uh, simply 50 to 50 50, rather. 
a challenge because they were both going for the ball, but uh, he had uh, gotten it first, and uh, he then uh, got fouled. Well, it seems like uh, we saw a yellow card uh, being issued here to one of uh, the Namibian uh, players. Just uh, confirm it for you shortly. So we are up to speed. A ball played in a cross, uh, but uh, no one uh, to get that one right. Really, a player who got this red yellow card is Penua Kanji. And uh, from that incident where you saw Yamigani on the ground, just uh, feeling a bit of pain from that 50 50 challenge, which uh, resulted into him winning the ball. Uh, and uh, Penua Kanji is unable to. Uh, again in the final third that is uh, Malawi just uh, throwing their bodies uh, throwing the ball in there and uh, having equivalent numbers uh, to try and compete for it a uh, good tackle coming from the young man uh, Edma Kamatuka to Prince Chueza uh, a bit of a uh, kicking and everything that is happening here well, uh, a bit of aggression. I think uh, referees need to calm the players down because I think uh, there's a, a lot of uh, blood rush to the head and just they make a clumsy decision that could cost the team. They'll uh, find themselves uh, booked. Now, oh, what a touch. Uh, coming from uh, Zibron Kalima, who then uh, finds uh, this man who could have made a turn and uh, took a better shot. But as unable to, he has a biggie, big man again, making uh, several turns with nobody really closing him in. There's a Langesi Ngoma. A ball uh, laid in, uh, just uh, trying to whip in across. Obviously, the keeper thought uh, he could reach for that one, but the wind uh, saying. It will just uh, float it uh, towards the penalty spot. And, uh, a switch of play with no direction uh, there. And, uh, Upenuva Kanji, man on a yellow card, is uh, there trying to clear the ball out of danger. Still Malawi on the front foot here and uh, just putting those crosses, looking for their big man. Uh, that is Yamikeni Mulungeni who just put in a good cross uh, to find Langesi Nkoma. Pass to Edma Kamatuka. And then uh, to that man who's uh, showing me some uh, bit of pace that is a uh, Prince Chueza. ball uh, for Namibia to try and uh, knock on uh, heaven's doors try and get a shot and then a strike a bit of a an eye opener for the keeper that uh, it could come at any time that is a uh, Benua Kanji who just uh, that is, uh, actually not uh, that man Now, we can only say that uh, Steve Damasaba, the one with the attempted goal. Now, oh, it's uh, 17, uh, that is uh, Chikondi Mbeta, who finds uh, Zebron uh, Kalima. Puts in a good cross, a keeper indecisive with that one, but recovers very well to put a put good block and a body in front of the ball. And uh, it's just uh, Chikondi Mbela with a smile and <laughs> just saying, I could have uh, buried that chance. And a keeper like Ruhuka Gatungwe was able to charge off his line, especially coming from uh, making an error. There's a 
redeemed himself. Emmanuel Munyela to find Zebran Kalima, but uh, first touch are not uh, the greatest this time around. You know, Patrick Mabedi is just uh, up on his feet and encouraging the players and say, head up. Well, sometimes that's all you need. You don't need the shouting. The coach will just uh, motivate you and bring you back to speed and bring you back to life. Well, resources take your thinking. Sometimes you just say, it happens. It's football, but uh, keep your head up and uh, let's keep going. We are 23 minutes in uh, to this game and I can tell you that uh, it's been nothing but an interesting match. And Yomikane Mulungeni, the energetic youngster who's making sure that uh, Edma Kamatuka does not get too comfortable on his side. Uh, ball whipped in by Penyu Kanji. Now a strike is coming from uh, Namibia just to force the keeper to pull a save. Oh, there's no time to rest. There's no time to rest. Hesting a banda. Oh, if you look at that strike coming from this man, Steve Demerson. That's his second strike in a space of uh, two minutes. Whenever they get to that side, he's uh, more likely to have uh, the appetite to take on those strikes. Well, Ukona is sitting on two for Malawi and uh, Namibia on one corner. Ball is uh, nicely driven to the first ball, uh, but uh, cleared away. And uh, Prince Chuaza has uh, wanted to win it back. He couldn't return it at first, had to go all the way back, which means uh, gives a chance for Malawi to charge out, for Malawi uh, to push forward. No, the ball is played on the side, but an offside call has uh, been uh, given uh, to Unamibia. I'll say well positioned. Uh, but now, man, uh, couldn't break it is now. So uh, both sides will go to their coaches and get to hear what uh, instructions they have in, in store for them. What can they do better? And uh, temperature still 21 degrees and wind speed sitting on that 35 kilometers an hour which is the heavy speed for the type of ball that is used for this match and the speed ball if you look at the uh, way they got uh, these goals uh, both sides I mean uh, look at that pass uh, coming from uh, the main man uh, Steve rather uh, not Steve but the shot coming from Langesi Ngoma was uh, nothing but of interest uh, Steli Biliat was uh, the orchestrator of that ball and uh, Langesi who, who fell down quickly gained his uh, feet and he was able to just put his body in front and win the ball from an awkward angle he still wins the ball and Apajo uh, Nashinchwa was uh, unable to clear that one at first and then uh, Namibia said uh, let's rather return the favor early Look at that Emma Kamatuka with that inviting drive to find uh, Joninho Jansen who was uh, just uh, at the right place at the right time and uh, meeting the ball halfway was able to just jump and simplify it to just uh, pass it into the net and nothing fancy or complicated. I'll say that uh, whoever was marking him that is uh, Josefi Balaski was uh, too far out to mark that one again. It was, uh, was a ball chance and a strike was taken but the keeper was up for a task today Strategies, uh, strategies given to players, and uh, the keeper would know that uh, Husting uh, Panda would know what he needs to do with that ball because the coach says uh, uh, find a way or pass it. It's summer where we uh, can uh, perhaps uh, get a chance uh, to score. Or well, if uh, things end up uh, with one all, 
we then have another day for these sides to fight for. Goes along to find. Well, uh, the ten uh, there by Namibia just uh, forcing it in the corner and uh, just denying uh, Malawi the opportunity to win that ball. It might be too early to tell, but uh, a draw is uh, something that Malawi wouldn't want uh, because now it would mean that. Uh, Namibia has a point. They then play a next match. That is Namibia. They then win with uh, Ilach Majin. And then what does that tell you? When uh, Namibia uh, play their final match. And, uh, Kuli is uh, keeping a uh, Nice and uh, warm there on the stand at the main man and, uh, with the conditions of uh, such a conditions really require a big hat, a big crew with a big hat. We see you and we appreciate this uh, images that you give us a quality. I know that your hands might be freezing, Bramex, one of the senior in this game. Says uh, you need to uh, come down. And, uh, having a decent chart and saying, uh, keep it calm. Chipenda Njambi Karumbe. Ball is uh, launched long uh, in search of uh, Giovanni Kandibab. Is now putting pressure on the keeper and uh, nobody's supporting or creating an option uh, for the keeper and then the keeper's poster to rather go long that is uh, hasting a panda can uh, launch the high to try and uh, find uh, there lucky number nine has uh, gone wrong here and uh, Malawi starting on the front foot and uh, claiming to be fouled that is uh, Chikondi Mbeta and, uh, it is that man uh, the target man uh, as far as the weakest links are that is uh, Bajo Nashitra oh they had beat him on the run here and uh, put his body in front just to deny that uh, Chikondi Mbeta's run was a tall player frustrated and just frustrated especially considering that goal being considered through him Rauka uh, Ngatengua has to guide his team and uh, tell them where to go Hello. Zebron Kalima. I know it's a very tight or close angle, but uh, going for goal would be would be something he, he wants to do, and maybe a pocket is opening up for him to just uh, drill it through. 
maybe force the keeper to pull a save or maybe a go for that first pull with a, a power and a, a good swing too would be something of interest uh, no Zebran Kalima uh, Zebran Kalima puts power on it uh, but keeper had a strong arm uh, that is uh, Rahuka Gatangue had, a, had a so much power Oh, keeper was uh, able to save it the second time. No, oh, game is still on, and uh, Edma can puts in a cross uh, to find this uh, man who just uh, has a first touch. That was not convincing, uh, Prince uh, Chueza. The uh, ball is. Uh, Gone to that big man Giovanni, who's opted to come too deep and find the ball because he hasn't been getting much of the balls, so it becomes a challenge for him when he's uh, staying uh, too high and not uh, playing. I say uh, it was a good technique and uh, met with a keeper with uh, reflexes. He realized that actually. The ball is not going all the way to the other side and uh, well saved just before the line so there's nobody is going to request uh, for reviews Comes out, Hastings at Banda. Ball in the, the center of the park. Well, uh, it is against uh, Malawi, which uh, means that uh, that park is a bit congested, especially that. Uh, the center they have a Zebran Kadima, Stan Biliati, and a David Daoud, Patrick Mawunguru for the Malawian side. Oh, swung in by Namibia trying to find Edma Kamatuka. Coach says, uh, Why are you chipping them uh, rather than you playing short? Throw in as an award to Marawi. Uh, Namibia to try and uh, get another goal from uh, that main man, uh, the goal scorer. A pass, uh, not a successful one. Could have simplified it. That is uh, true as uh, he had uh, Edma Kamatuka on the uh, far left hand side. Now press has been put on uh, this uh, man, and, uh, trying to put a team in danger. That is uh, Hasting Banda and uh, Giovanni Kanibab says I uh, will put pressure on you if you take your chances with me. I have uh, the pace and uh, I will definitely use it. So uh, I'm really just talking and talking and just uh, unimpressed and not impressed at all with the decision making coming from uh, one of his uh, goalkeepers got uh, a number of substitutions that you could make use but uh, not yet uh, Emmanuel Hamunyela Denzel Habib oh, keeper again uh, making another error that's uh, really going to be a worrying factor for Uh, coach uh, just uh, 
they're being all expressive and expressive at how the keeper is just uh, making those errors and now here's a, a big man the Langesi Nkoma uh, puts in a cross uh, there's a 2v1 head and a bicycle kick uh, not uh, the greatest he knocked that man out and he just uh, hugs him as uh, Ngakuzu uh, contender uh, coach Patrick Mabedi listen to that says uh, he needs to wake up uh, there's a big man going for the ball but uh, there's a other intention and it caught him right on the neck uh, that is uh, and he claims it to be the one who was fouled and uh, that is Chikondi Mbeta gets his own uh, he registration in the referee's uh, books and, uh, Mbenda, Mbeta The young man is not feeling any dizzy. He's uh, just uh, fine. Oh, the big and uh, strong. And uh, uh, here to uh, fight for his country. The ball is uh, played long by that man, Ra Rahuka Ngatengu. Uh, Biliati who's uh, just uh, issuing uh, passes uh, to his uh, two strikers every time when he gets the ball is uh, he's got uh, an idea where to take the ball or to who he's uh, directing it to yeah. 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 supposed to stand there uh, but your McKinney gets it a uh, good drive off the ball in the header that uh, Shikondi Mbeta uh, could have uh, just uh, punched it more harder. Would have been a good goal. Honestly, Yomikani has been putting some extra work here. Just uh, decides to put a nice weight and it finds his teammate, right? But uh, he seems to Shikondi Mbeta to rather cushion it than to just punch it back into the net. He's up there already with his uh, teammates uh, defending and uh, sticking to his uh, role. Yumigani will take uh, this uh, set piece uh, right next to his coach who says uh, take it uh, this way just uh, drive it uh, two tall men again oh, seems to be a uh, pushing that happened then and we've already seen uh, three corners in this match Yes, this man Rauka Gatengue goes uh, for a long range uh, pass uh, to try and find uh, that man, Givano Kanibab. And it seems to be headed uh, back into the game. But it's still high ball for Namibia to try and uh, maybe keep it down and uh, get a goal. Maybe. Here's uh, Namibia on the counter here with that man Giovanni trying to be all tricky and get a, a proper pass by the handball coming off from, from uh, Kanibab Giovanni. Indeed, uh, that run was not well timed. Uh, 
cleared, a, cleared away from those long balls coming from the keeper that is Rahuka Ngatengu. And a, a pace uh, coming from uh, Stanley Biliati. He's, uh, he's got a two on one situation then. Eventually, being dispossessed the ball. And uh, cleared off uh, the danger zone. And start over as a throw in. I've got a bit of a note to, to take or to draw it down. Especially when uh, 45 minutes is about to elapse. We're just a minute away. And uh, of course, uh, referee's regulation time will also be considered in this uh, the first half. Uh, Yamikani not getting a return pass. That was uh, sufficient enough for him to play from coming from uh, Stanley Piliat. Uh, we have to say I have obstructed the play, so I have to give you guys a retake. Uh, not a retake, a uh, bounce it for you. I think uh, going into the change room, uh, coaches will rather say to hear the young stars, uh, I'd rather keep the ball down as per my interview, saying that uh, we will just uh, pass each other and uh, not play high balls, but I've seen most of the balls are being played high. I mean, if you look at uh, Namibia, what they've been doing is just uh, pumping it and pumping it and pumping it to the number nine, trying to find that uh, Giovanni Caniba. No, no! And, uh, thirsty or hungry for a goal well it was still something to hold your breath and hope that uh, things go the other way for the other side and uh, one side wins it well, the group B encounters are becoming very interesting uh, the ball again and played it to the pacey man who finds it a billiard and a billiard whips in across the school, bounces back to him with a volley of some sort, but not the greatest like he had wanted it to be. He was going for the right, was going the right direction rather. And, uh, Again, uh, they go long. This time around, it doesn't even cross uh, the half uh, on its uh, best height. It rather bounces off uh, of Yomikani. It finds uh, that man who's been quite a Patrick Mwangura. Who then uh, brings uh, back to a billiard. Ball uh, won by the centre back Emmanuel Hamuniela. Prince Chueza, who finds uh, that man is Steve Damasab, and the cross is uh, being put in. But uh, Prince Chueza, as much as he added pace and appetite to that ball, is just not for him. Namibia here, yeah, that is uh, Edma Kamatuka to find uh, that man and a cross has been played in and the keeper was not uh, covering uh, the first pole and uh, Namibia is saying uh, we will then uh, say thank you Giovanni. I mean if you look at how these uh, balls have been coming in, uh, being played long, and, uh, it's additional time We're coming from this man uh, Penua. Penua Kanji rather and uh, giving uh, this man uh, Giovanni Kanibab the uh, goal scoring opportunity and uh, Kanibab not wasting anything uh, to it and uh, Haji Wali likes uh, the ball watching and uh, the most animated coach is uh, the most excited coach especially at uh, these uh, at uh, additional time uh, as a uh, Giovanni Kanibab 
who gets uh, his uh, goal right this time around. Well, it's uh, half time, and uh, coach Patrick Mabedi will be disappointed with his players after having to start on the front foot going forward. Uh, this man had to cause an upset and lack of concentration from uh, that man. However, uh, Joninho Jante was uh, the one to score the opening goal for uh, Namibia. Oh, Malawi really did lose uh, some sort of a uh, concentration when it comes uh, to their defensive mode. They became uh, weaker, ran weaker, and uh, the likes of Emmanuel Hamunyala and Haji Wali were unable to defend this one. Well, Namibia goes into the change room, leading two, and Malawi chasing with goal with a goal. If you look at the, the chances uh, that uh, they had, as far as uh, Malawi is and a scrappy pass uh, to find uh, that man Langes in coma from uh, Stanley Piliat and uh, Langes is still persisted and went on to put pressure on the defender that is uh, Baggio who initially had uh, played the ball and won it but he brought it into the favor of uh, Langes in coma and then Goma after coming from the ground was, in it, was able to just get up and put more pressure and uh, until he and then uh, scored the opening goal Edmar Kamatuka is a, a player who just uh, combined with Prince Chueza and Edgar putting good weight and good height on the ball and inviting a ball to just uh, draw the keeper out of the goal post and he was able to get Hesting Obanda in the wandering land to just give a, a profit to Juninho Jansé from uh, that uh, beautiful cross I mean, you can come back uh, from that because uh, a corner kick but then happened Paul ricocheted to find that uh, this man Rahuka was uh, up to the task of, uh, Namibia tried to just keep on knocking and knocking and knocking and uh, poaching this man who was uh, able to be up for a task even uh, the set piece was just uh, good enough uh, for this uh, man Rahuka uh, to save it at second attempt and a good reflex is I must say that he was able to uh, bring his body back and uh, just uh, guide the ball all the way to the crowd and, uh, this uh, man uh, who was a uh, lethal crosser that is Yamikeni Mulungeni he was uh, on his bike again and got a good cross well very enticing uh, cross it was just unlucky they couldn't uh, get this one at the back of the net. That is Chikonde uh, Mbeta. Well, here's uh, another option uh, for uh, the likes of uh, Giovanni Kanibab. He uh, scored uh, that one simpler. Well, well halftime statistics, I can tell you one thing that uh, Malawi kept on coming and coming, but uh, Zambia, Malawi and uh, Namibia were just not having it. 59 ball position and a 41 in favor of uh, Namibia.
<laughs> oh, welcome back to a very interesting uh, second half, should we say, between these two sides, Namibia and Malawi. I can tell you that whatever happened or conversations that were taking place in the change room would be of interest if we had uh, cameras or ears in there. I would really want to see the animated reactions from both coaches in this match because a match that will just put a twist in a whole lot of things and I can tell you we really are up for a very interesting the second half of this match and, oh, there are substitutions already that are just about to take place now and now we having you to bring on a, a a fresh legs. Oh, I don't really know how is a substitution that is uh, taking place. It wasn't expected. That is a uh, uh, Biliati coming off and they bringing on uh, Andrew Sikola. Yeah, so I don't understand how you bring out a player who's uh, bringing those crosses and just uh, try to get into the box most of the time and, uh, maybe coach uh, has uh, things uh, under his sleeves uh, unleashing uh, a different uh, tactic a different approach you can see that uh, well now we have uh, brought in Andrew Sikola who only played seven minutes at uh, the previous encounter and uh, now we're given an opportunity to have uh, this whole uh, the second half and I think he plays uh, football in uh, Kefu uh, with Kefu Celtic in uh, Zambia ball is uh, already launching and a kick of coming from that big man unable to find it or connect with it well second half of the standard as, uh, Namibia 2, Malawi is sitting on uh, one goal. Uh, it's going to be a uh, high speed, a uh, high tempo match uh, with this one because, you know, someone has got to survive and someone has got to uh, suffer. Well, they always say others are accompanying it, others are here to see it, and others are here to take it. And what is that? It's the trophy you participate in the tournament with a decent squad of the likes of uh, Prince Chueza that's a lucky number 10 and uh, Steven Damasev for the Namibian side who've uh, been uh, very influential in, in this game and, uh, substitution do you remember they brought on uh, Xavier McLean in the, the previous match and, uh, maybe they'll look into making those subs in the 70th and 75th minute and now it's all about uh, the set piece if uh, it will convert into a goal we can uh, wait to see that uh, the says uh, do not obstruct the keeper you better keep your position and if any contact with the keeper i will blow the whistle and he's uh, slowly <laughs> slowly shuffling away from the keeper now he joins the line because uh, the ref has uh, told him Lots of Haji Wali are also there in the box uh, to add on uh, some height. A bit of a push coming from uh, Giovanni. And, uh, that main man, Andrew Sikola, who just came on as a sub. Oh, we wait and wait as he floats it in with nobody carrying it better, but out of the danger zone is all that matters as uh, far as uh, Namibia are concerned. Uh, still Malawi on the front foot in their half. Uh, passing each other. We've got a Malawian side at the likes of Haji Uali, the centre back, and Josephi Balaski. Haven't seen much of him moving forward. You know, you wondering if uh, the likes of uh, David Tawudi will maybe finish this game, uh, considering that he's seen less of the ball, and uh, maybe the coach will look into. Uh, bringing uh, the likes of uh, Believe uh, Jun and uh, Blessing uh, Mpokera. Thank you. Oh, well, Emmanuel Xavier was one of the players that came on. 
Uh, maybe they'll look at uh, that. Uh, you can see that the a bit of a high tempo approach in this uh, second stanza. I shouldn't be shocked at how it all starts. Uh, we know very well that uh, the first 10, 8, 10 minutes are just a high speed, high tempo game. And then uh, they start dropping along the way. That's a goal scorer that is Chonino Ujance. A foul given in favor of. Uh, Namibia. Hello. Ah, she Wali unable to pinpoint the pass to that man as Zebra Nikalima. chance to get uh, ahead. Let's say that uh, Andrew Sikola came on to replace uh, uh, Biliat who was uh, on the yellow card of course. And, uh, this time around again Andrew Sikola comes on to then uh, replace uh, uh, Biliat and uh, Langesin Goma was a uh, him on as a sub to replace Zizwa Hanja Hong. Hanja Honja. Rather. No, not the big man up front. That is it. Chikondi Mbeta. He's a part of the squad that played against Komoos. He's uh, now started and already on a yellow card. Oh, here's a plan uh, played uh, to this man. He was uh, just caught offside, uh, Prince Juez. I think he had uh, timed his right, his run right. Uh, be a beautiful masterpiece uh, of a goal coming from uh, that set piece. All oh, the expectation was that they go for goal. Oh, they need to learn uh, more from Kemi Terasmus. He does those runs uh, very well. He's now uh, ending his try to, with uh, now handball protest is uh, there, but in favor of uh, Namibia, not uh, Malawi. Long range shot again. That's the only way that uh, Namibia is uh, going to play this game. Uh, the cross is uh, played in a bit of uh, pushing, but a uh, uh, big man, uh, Giovanni, the goal scorer, uh, stands uh, strong. And uh, then it goes out to find the Prince Chueza, but uh, shot by Edma Kamatuka, no. Powerful enough uh, to bother this uh, young man at the, on the goalpost. Uh, it's all about uh, concentration. Uh, playing uh, to Chueza, but uh, poor cross. And uh, well, the plan was to go for the last pole again. And, uh, not making that uh, connection he wants. Well, Malawi in the uh, Super League is already underway. That's it, uh, having played uh, three games. Games. Now, uh, Paul could have played in a by two as a, uh, but uh, he was just too far out. That man, uh, Penua Kanji. Has a good run and a well timed tackle, though. Let's give a credit to where he's due to Emmanuel Hamunyala. Mm, 
tell you that uh, uh, the Super League in Malawi is uh, three games up now and the uh, Red Lions are the ones that are just uh, sitting on the uh, top of the crosses uh, played in and intercepted by Haji Wali there who then uh, they find uh, a good front foot trying to advance ahead and a foul has been given to Malawi uh, I'll tell you the likes of uh, Shitipa United assisting on number 15 Oh, Nyasha, a big bullet. A team that has a, a few players in a, a this a national team. Uh, the likes of uh, Langesi Koma, uh, Patrick Mwanguru. And, uh, Swallows Academy is always there. And, uh, Vendruk United has also represented there. Uh, silver strikers is also one of the teams that are sitting on number 14 on uh, their log and a few of their junior academy players are within this uh, squad assembled by uh, this man that is uh, Patrick Mabedi uh, so in search of a uh, Nicolaiza that is Namibia. That is Malawi, rather. Now, here's the main man, Giovanni. It goes for a shot. Oh, awkward angle, but it's worth a try. It's worth a try. If you look at Malawi Premier League, also, it's just a, This is a, the Namibian Premier League, rather. Well, uh, not properly cleared by Malawi. Good turn coming uh, from Pinho. Oh, well. In 1985, was uh, founded this uh, Premier League in uh, Namibia. Seems to be. Well. Represented as well. Cross is uh, swung in, and the keeper comes out. Uh, out of reach, they saved by the ref. <laughs> Should we say? Because it didn't look like he was going to make contact with the ball. Oh, Malawi already making another substitution, uh, bringing on. Number 10, uh, that is coming on, and uh, Patrick. Now, this man, uh, Maloya, came on as a sub earlier in the previous encounter, and now again, Maloya. You know what I say, Maloya? I'm very proud of saying this surname because it used to be a popular song in South Africa. Do Masilela. Back in the days of uh, quite old music, you know, think about anything that you see. If you see someone walking at night in the 4 a.m., you then uh, name a song and say, Maloya. Uh, townships are uh, very good with uh, good titles for quite old songs. Now, Paul launched longer to find uh, that big man uh, and a push coming from Ngaziku Katendu. Who says uh, number two? No, Langesing Ngoma. He's uh, the man who was pushed there. Okay, nicely flown in ball, and uh, he opted to uh, just uh, push him. And, uh, the ref is uh, at a closer view to just uh, pick that one up. Oh no, oh, Prima Loy actually started with the game and he finished with it. He did not come in as a sub. No. Only Langes and Goma came on as a sub, and Andrew, Andrew Sikola already is on the field of play. Well, uh, as things are, uh, Banda is still. 
sitting on the goal post there. Oh, now we're looking into converting that one, uh, putting uh, so much uh, uh, power on it, uh, but uh, the crossbar was just it uh, came on and uh, already taking a set piece. It's not even uh, that warm. He is just uh, ready to take a set piece the likes of Obrim Maloya. Again, uh, goal kick launched long. Can't start it at the back, and uh, it's a worrying factor. Because if you have a team that is uh, full of football players, you will struggle. Oh, well, my goodness. If you see some uh, skill coming there. I mean, if he makes a turn and a striker, but uh, a denied, a denied, a denied, a coma. I must say, I saw Zebra and Kalima there with uh, a bit of a skill what, 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 and uh, checking in. You know, uh, could have. Uh, been a smart one you know look at that pass huh you know, a blind pass uh, with enough uh, power on it just to drop it at the right place and uh, before he's an offside uh, that is and JC in coma putting pressure on each other forgotten about you on the uh, social pages that is uh, Instagram uh, Twitter and uh, uh, Facebook we remain for suffer under 20 Number, uh, Haji Wali haven't seen much of him going forward has been uh, sitting at the back just uh, pumping those balls uh, pumping them up and, uh, hasn't materialized for them but uh, the miss header coming here from Penu Kanji. Pass not uh, directed to anyone. Also well intercepted. Uh, and then another interception coming from uh, Josefi uh, Palaski. Uh, uh, people are just uh, on the edge of the seats now, right here on the stands. And uh, just uh, not. Uh, Okay, with uh, the score line, and uh, I'll tell you, the substitutions are going to happen in, uh, in numbers when uh, there's no uh, goal happening. Ball uh, swung wide there, but indecisive uh, by Chikondi Mbeta. No. This man, uh, Penyu Kanji, uh, pushing forward, trying uh, to uh, find Edma Kamatuka, but uh, intercepted again by Josefi Palaski, who's also on the bike to find uh, Lanjesin Koma. And, uh, denied the runner there. I think uh, it's, uh, number 13 uh, is uh, coming right now, Bajo Nashitra, who's uh, gifted a goal for. Malawi, you know, it's a young man that uh, comes on and uh, they bring out. Uh, well, this young man hasn't had minutes of the game. That is uh, Giovanni Nathalio Narib. Uh, he gets a moment to just uh, play and add some minutes to his legs. Mr. Nathalian. Mr. Nathalian Narib. Oh, Chipenda Njambi was a player to be sacrificed, has been quiet in the, the second half of this match. So, coach says uh, 
Pera Eli than later. The ball is played and Wally Haji says I'll jump higher than you. Get away by Malawi getting it out of the danger zone. Uh, new man, uh, fresh legs already putting in a cross into the box. And then Joseph Balaski is uh, blocked by Giovanni Nathalian Narib. Quick play is what you're going to experience. Yeah, it's quick play is what you're going to see. I mean, uh, Coach Patrick Mabedi knows uh, what is uh, happening and uh, why is the clock uh, ticking so fast. I tell you, is a uh, a bit of a uh, conversation now yeah, from uh, some of the colleagues <laughs> the Malawi inside are just uh, giving instructions uh, to who plays where and how they're supposed to play as the uh, uh, Namibia on the front foot getting that cross uh, but uh, that's a uh, young man uh, Josefi Balaski Alet well, uh, Alet level one that is uh, just clearing the ball here. Yeah. Okay, tell you everybody when they mention the word alert, you just worry because it says alert level one, two, three, and four, and a five. You know, oh, something is going to happen. Oh, we hope for the best. And uh, uh, jumps high and doesn't find anyone there. No, here's the main man, Manjessi Ngoma, who's out of the box and a cross has been put in. Uh, but the uh, keeper comes out to just uh, pile it away. Uh, ball with uh, this man who's uh, trying to get those crosses in, uh, Zebron Kalima. Clear away from a danger zone. Again, uh, finds uh, this man, uh, Josefi Balakasi. Uh, Patrick Maveri quickly gives his uh, players the ball to just try and uh, go get on the counter. Well, 65 minutes has gone by and it uh, seems like uh, as things stand, we'll see Namibia 2 so and uh, Malawi 1 it means that uh, Namibia will be on uh, 3 points which means that they are even with, uh, well here's a header coming on and uh, that's a big man just uh, putting his body then uh, obstructing the keeper until the refer just uh, gave uh, advantage uh, to the keeper and said Len Jesse you're now infringing uh, the keeper and a card will be issued to uh, this uh, main man and he, this is his uh, a second warning so this time around he then gets a yellow and the referee says a third time i'm sending you to take a shower this is lanjesi ngoma he's just uh, walking away because uh, a bit of frustration now he's putting pressure on everything and everyone is just uh, bouncing off people most of the time well here's that uh, hater that was a uh, played and uh, he had his uh, and uh, sticking out to a block and then he kicked the keeper as was going down for the ball and yes it's a bookable offense without a doubt there's a, a bit of pushing again in the center from uh, that man uh, david dawoodi as i was saying that right now Malawi will then uh, leave uh, to fight another day. They won't be out yet uh, because uh, it's going to be Namibia's uh, first win, which puts them at a uh, better place uh, by getting three points. And they, them and Malawi will be on uh, three points each. And that uh, means that uh, it all depends on how these matches will turn out of uh, the last the games of uh, the group B and, uh, check there that uh, oh 
but now he has a game against the, will have a game against the Zambia on the ninth. And uh, Namibia will face Comoros on the ninth as well. So both of these matches will be broadcast uh, simultaneously. So makes it even more interesting if uh, Namibia works out with a win here because both teams will have uh, something to play for and uh, both teams will be sitting on the edge of their seats uh, hoping to see if uh, one of them uh, doesn't win their game and a very interesting uh, fixture that is on the 9th of December at uh, half past three local time uh, that is it's a, a very tight one it's just uh, how sometimes the things uh, turn out and uh, how sometimes the things that uh, just uh, happen uh, not everything has be to be concluded early in the second stanzas of uh, the tournament sometimes you wait until the last day of uh, the tournament to just uh, see who's uh, uh, taking this one or who's advancing it to the next round well, remember of, uh, whistle blown in the match as well just uh, of interest is that Every moment it is a glorification. Now, a new man in the park is uh, going to try and uh, take on uh, Josephi Palaski, and uh, Palaski was able to obstruct him and uh, get uh, to win uh, that ball, but uh, his pass uh, the next uh, address. Uh, a new man in the park trying Giovanni Nathalian Narib. What's that? Again, as a cooling break uh, that is at the uh, 70th minute of the game. 70th minute of the game. And uh, looks uh, promising for both sides. Oh, the wind speed is at uh, 35 uh, kilometers an hour and the uh, temperature is still on uh, 21 degrees uh, I can tell you that uh, Patrick Mabidi would have to come and strategize here it's either they keep the ball down or they then uh, pass uh, one another most of the time oh here's uh, that early goal that uh, was uh, scored and uh, on the near post by Giovanni Kanibab who really exploited uh, that uh, uh, fist pole and the keeper couldn't cover it fully well, well, the animated coach was there to be happy. A few minutes remaining, of course, and uh, a few words from uh, the two coaches. Just to say, uh, Namibia would say, probably let's keep the ball, let's uh, keep shape, let's move as a team, as a unity. We will consolidate this one uh, with a win. And if uh, there's room for us to get an extra goal, why not? Oh, is that uh, a new man, uh, lucky number 10, all tucked in? Number 10, that isn't. Can he maybe give? Uh, Malawi the goal that uh, they need an equalizer rather no ball is uh, played in and hit out by the clearance of the ball what the just a uh, body's there behind the ball and it's uh, just uh, able to defend and carry it off no, 
a beautiful panic on the Malawian side. If I tell you, if they were to keep the ball on the ground, they have players that are actually uh, ball players, players that can uh, keep it well with a combination play. There's a run there, but it should be a foul uh, given to Malawi. The big man himself, Ngazingwe Kantendu, is uh, obstructed uh, by Obri Maloya. And, uh, if he was in front, uh, Maloya, but uh, Gazingo Katendu gets himself uh, that foul. Now, uh, Patrick Mabedi is uh, issuing instructions and can't sit down now. The coach has to find a way on how to just uh, get back into this game. You know, here's uh, another ball player that could be getting closer to the likes of uh, Chikonde Mbenta Langesi Nkoma and uh, Zebron Kalima and uh, Andrew Sikola if uh, they were to keep the ball on the ground they would most likely exploit the two centre backs that uh, seemingly can't uh, be comfortable with the ball or are not comfortable with the ball on the ground but anything that is high they're definitely going to win it and clear it away so the interview said we'll keep the ball and pass and pass but panic play is uh, what is happening on uh, the Malawian side. It's just uh, panic buttons, panic buttons after the other. Or oh, even a ball that is not sanitized is brought into play by the coach. And the coach is even uh, picking a ball up and saying, which one do you choose? Uh, defensive. Ngazinkuwe Kandetu is a having his uh, legs stretched out there, forced uh, to make those runs and guide this man and Jesse Nkoma, the goal scorer. Uh, Giovanni Kanibab denied a turn there. Ball in uh, the centre and uh, Namibia finding a Prince uh, Chueza. That's uh, denied by Haji Wali. I was uh, hoping maybe he would uh, add a number up front, uh, maybe in the last uh, dying minutes of the game. Oh, that's a dangerous uh, back pass uh, coming from uh, David Dawoodi. And the fresh legs that came on into the park, rather. Andrew Sikola. He started with the previous game. And this one, he comes off uh, the bench. Tall bodies and bodies and just throwing your bodies in front and protecting whatever you have. No foul there. Well, it's a throw in. Choninho Ujante. And Sik Mabiri. And playing fair there, becoming a ball boy of this match. And uh, balls need to be sanitized. If I to insist on the ball that just came out to be used. Be careful there, coach. You are... Uh, putting players at risk uh, while cross the played in and they protest for a handball uh, which is a uh, given because uh, the assistant ref uh, had uh, her flag up and the ref has read it uh, oh seems to be a man down on the far side of the park and uh, that man well, here's the request for a handball, and uh, yes, uh, it was a handball. It came off his uh, lap to his arm, and uh, then he quickly turned. So basically, he slowed down the pace of the ball with his arm, and then ho hoped to turn and shoot. And to go, well, a good call by the assistant ref. Ooh, picked that one up. Uh, timing her runs uh, very well. Uh, a big man like uh, Andrew Sikola is uh, forced uh, to come deep and uh, collect. Uh, now he has a chance uh, for Malawi to score a goal, but uh, ricochets and the keeper recovers uh, very well and uh, he then uh, grabs it quickly. Grabs it quickly. Now he has a chance where he could have uh, just maybe full laced it instead of uh, placing it. And uh, then Jesse. Your keeper is already out and 
It's just uh, maybe he had uh, dropped the shoulder again. The keeper was already committed on a dive and uh, chipped it over him. Uh, Zebron Kalima launches it long to find uh, that man, Langesi, uh, putting trouble again. And uh, there's, uh, number 10, uh, Prima Loya, also trying to put support on, on Langesi. A time wasting tactics when you've got all the time in the world to do anything that you want. Uh, I'll be inside of a, a player coming to be ready to come on. And the uh, young man from uh, Swallows Academy. He is a skillful man. And uh, well, you are trading from behind. And a bit of a Shibobo there. And coming uh, from uh, Andrew Sikola. Oh, Namibia seems to be enjoying themselves now. Uh, have time for skills as well. Uh, good, uh, good call by that uh, centre back there. Emmanuel Hamuniela saying, uh, "Keep uh, calm and uh, get this one," and uh, cautions it for him to just uh, charge and uh, grab that one. Substitution by Namibia. Uh, a man who's uh, found himself in the scoring books is uh, uh, making way uh, for another player who will be looking into finding a goal. That is uh, Denzel Narib. Who's uh, Denzel? We know Denzel's in movies, and now we see them in football. Uh, it's a beautiful name though. Don't come up, Mr. Tenzel. Uh, for blowing the whistle on chest. As a handball there, and came off uh, a Namibian player. Oh, Haji Wali going long and trying to find Zebron Kalima, who seems to have a, a skill and uh, loses uh, the opponent and uh, wins himself a corner. And a solid man uh, that is uh, sitting there. That is uh, to her friend, David. Corner that will really require a better defensive uh, mode, a better level of thinking because uh, this is a team that is trading behind now. Nicely drilled in, but uh, that poke could just uh, saved it away from the box. And here's uh, another man uh, poking it to the far post, but keeper just uh, putting his hands there, giving it a different uh, direction away from the uh, frame of goal. Which is a uh, good save, I should say. He was a uh, alert, not, not trying to be fancy too much. He's uh, a man whose uh, concentration is uh, just up. Nicely played long, but uh, unable to just uh, find the back of the net for Malawi. Or oh, brought back to this man. He's uh, trying to skill his way in uh, and he loses the ball in the danger zone and now it's a, a 3v3, well, one on one and he results into in Rusikola making uh, that foul. Well, uh, this is a bookable offense. I mean, uh, tripping a player from behind, uh, stepped on his, uh, uh, stepped on his, uh, on his leg, the, on his foot, rather his heel. I should he say, and uh, just uh, denied him uh, that run he was on.
to consider a goal early on. It's a direction are they going to take it? Well, he goes straight for goal. And the uh, keeper is, uh, Namibian side uh, making a uh, substitution and taking out uh, the the goal scorer that is Giovanni Canibab has a wall coming out on the other side of the pe of the pitch and running a uh, bandit it comes on and uh, is uh, maybe going to add there's a running a pendant oh there's a quick 50-50 uh, challenge but uh, one uh, by that man who came on as a sub Nathalie Narib who, who finds running a pendant back to Nathaniel who puts in a cross Uh, Namibia looking for that goal in uh, this remaining minutes of the game it's just uh, in the hand for a third one because they know that uh, goals will play a part if uh, they walk out with a win here and uh, come uh, their next game should Malawi win their game and they win with less games then Namibia means will win with more games and it will put Namibia at a better place and I must say that not all is lost for both of these sides, rather Namibia after losing this match, because they sit on three, three, and uh, each uh, three actually. So it's an open group for two teams, and one team will have to uh, do a favor for the other if there is any in the group that is willing to open the net and say yes, score us as many as you want or uh, say we will just not allow you to score a goal a draw will also be better for us and she's also a consolation for a team that hasn't registered a win that will be a very interesting game and hope, uh, Patrick Mombedi not impressed with what is happening. He's uh, shouting at the ref. Still a mission in the center of the park. And uh, this man, Lanjes Nkoma, now taking responsibilities and trying to dish out a pass uh, to find Zebron Kalima, but uh, when intercepted by that man, Ngazuko Kantendo. Of, uh, of a Namibian side with uh, two tall men at the back. Well, the shot is, uh, is taken, uh, but blocked by Haji Iwali. Uh, Haji Iwali trying to find uh, Yamikani Mulugeni. Well, Namibia's ball again, but uh, David Tauda says uh, we will thank you for. Well, that pass uh, played longer to Opri Maloya. Now, here's a chance uh, for Malawi to get back in, in this game. And uh, Yamikani cuts it back in and uh, it finds another man who just uh, takes a strike. But uh, not uh, too much venom uh, coming from Andrew Sikola. And again, it's so Malawi with a chance. Oh, not a chance uh, for them to score. That is uh, Andrew Opri Maloya. Uh, keeping the ball on the ground and keeping the ball on the ground and passing one another in the final third for Malawi would be better anything that is played high those two tall men at the back are just not creating any room they poke anything that comes their way and uh, you have uh, a player like Langes in coma who should be keeping them at bay and uh, creating spaces with off the ball runs uh, for the likes of uh, Zebron Kalima to tack in the likes of Andrew Sikola to come on and uh, Chikondi 
Mbeta has been a very quiet player. I would have uh, thought maybe a substitution was uh, eminent for him. Mm. Uh, a ball with Josefi Balaski. Again, uh, here's uh, the tall man who's uh, just the tower that is in Gaziku Katendu. Kandetu. Ball played to Oprima Lawyer and wins himself a foul there. Oh, here's another chance uh, for Malawi to come back into this game and uh, maybe get a goal uh, from uh, this uh, set piece. Because anything that they orchestrated uh, seems to be a frustration for them. It seems to be not happening for them, so they would rather now opt to find a goal during this uh, set piece. And, uh, they then uh, going to start having a scaffolding and a pushing and a shoving. And uh, the ball uh, whipped in uh, to find any Malawian players. And uh, the referee says uh, there is no handball in that uh, area. There was no contact uh, from uh, the hand. Oh, nicely whipped in uh, to find the uh, old prima lawyer in the chest, but uh, unable to just uh, keep it at bay. And. Uh, Uh, keeper just uh, uh, playing it uh, wide there. No, my lawyer is still putting pressure, and uh, everybody just uh, uh, pressing my lawyer and pressing him. And uh, 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 playing it uh, along. Oh, keeper says, uh, wait and wait, uh, but uh, Russia to the head, uh, element of fear. Also kicking in for Tula to have Fanny David. No. No. Now we are about to dig in the pocket of additional time and uh, try to find a few minutes. That will be three minutes added on on uh, this uh, a second stand on this uh, drama that is happening here. Uh, twist of things is uh, happening here. A group that will be open and open and open uh, for another day. Two sides that will not say they are bowing out. Two sides that will say we have uh, to leave and fight another day. So not all is lost in any of these sides because they now even with points. It all goes down uh, to the wire in this group. I think uh, sometimes uh, people call it, they jinx it. Oh, here's a chance uh, for Malawi to get a, a equalizer here. In this instance, uh, a good chest uh, coming from the main man, uh, but uh, no chance of uh, Chikondi Mbeta to get that one right. He's a unhappy man having put it on his chest and then it pounces away from him instead of it just uh, sitting on the chest so that he'll be able to volley it in now ball with uh, that a silent man on the side that is a uh, bajo Nathalian Narib to, to Hafeni David and, uh, coming out of the danger zone with an intent to catch them on the counter. Kubrafa uh, says it, coach says it, the game is a uh, amper clar. Oh, that one I know, it says uh, almost finished. Uh, just a uh, Hang in there, young boys. Hang in there, my boys. You've uh, put in a good fight. Oh, counter at its first, and uh, can they get a third goal with the striker? It's just a few inches uh, away from uh, the frame of a uh, goal. He would have uh, loved to score this one to run in a bandit. Uh, 
coach is just up on his uh, feet and his uh, <laughs> instruction, everything. And uh, it would be nice to just uh, see his animation most of the time. Now, what a good pass uh, there to just uh, keep uh, that man in the whip scene across and a header that uh, could have uh, resulted uh, to Nathalian Narib scoring. Uh, the third goal of the game but uh, the referee says it's okay young boys it's all right you've had enough and uh, namibia dominated they wanted it more namibia showed resilience namibia was unstoppable or oh, namibia profit from errors namibia took advantage of uh, malawi wherever they can and uh, this man won't be happy that is a uh, hosting a panda that uh, it all goes down to say thank you and thank you prince chuaza at your divine intervention and smiles all round for this uh, tall man Gazikuwe Kantendu and uh, of course uh, center back who, who just uh, added uh, some solidarity in the center and uh, the Denzel Narib that came onto the park were able to sustain uh, this uh, pace well it is uh, Namibia 2 and Malawi 1 a full-time score okay. I can tell you, this man came on and started taking set pieces. That is, Obrit Maloya, but it came away. It just blew off. We thought it deflected, but the weight of the wind just blew it away. Here comes another chance by Zebron Kalima with some racket skills there. And a strike coming from Langesi in Goma, who just did not connect right with that ball. But had he added maybe an extra touch, would have been a beautiful goal. Or he would have uh, saw maybe one of his teammates who are already making a run into the box. Again, uh, that is uh, the main man, Langesi, just uh, getting into with today the ball ricocheted and saved uh, before the line by uh, this uh, defender and the keeper went uh, through his legs. However, this man uh, to Afeni David was uh, able to clear this one before it crosses the line. It just went underneath the keeper's. Uh, Ampits and in disbelief that is Langesi in coma. Now here's a striker gone to oh, the keeper, but uh, nothing magic to trouble him. Good weight, good height, but the positioning of the keeper was uh, just a uh, better. And coach says, uh, Thank you, thank you, fair game, coach. Well, the uh, statistics are just uh, saying to you uh, 15 goal attempts are coming uh, from uh, Namibia and uh, 12 coming uh, from. Malawi and 57 ball position uh, for them and uh, 43 for Namibia. A thoroughly entertaining clash here between Namibia and Malawi. Our man of the match that joins me today, it is uh, Giovanni Canida. Giovanni, congratulations. I mean, your goal was the difference with today's game. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm feeling very well because the game was not very, the game was very tough. I was feeling really, very well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the instruction from the coach. Going into the half time, the team was leading, and coming into the second half, it was a matter of slowing things down. And the coach was telling us in the dressing room, we must put pressure on them. We must keep the ball. We must play very hard, and we must move with the ball. We must take on the prize. Mm -hmm. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, guys. Giovanni, that won the player of the match accolade for today's game as uh, it was his goal that was the big difference between the two sides. Coach Patrick, I appreciate your time. You did talk about the team being able to play the ball on the ground and we saw bits and pieces of that, not so much, and the ball being floated around your summation? Uh, look, uh, listening is a very good skill. Eh? If you don't listen, you get punished. Uh, they deserve to win. They go out there and they fight and they want it most. And uh, they, 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 they achieve the, the, the points. And uh, us, we never play according to instructions. We lost, we need to go back and learn. I think sometimes you need to learn in a hard way, more especially when you're kids. So. I think congrats to Namibia. They did well and they fight and they wanted most more than us. 
there was no sense of urgency from your team and then we saw in the second half you kept on saying to them they shouldn't panic because they almost like they went into autopilot where they couldn't think clearly and they were rushing everything yeah look football sometimes when you one go down two go down you started panicking the more you panic it's you make you make more mistakes so i knew that the guys they're panicking but i tried to scream i tried to tell them to calm down play stick to your plan knock the ball around you get a chance but they were forcing long ball which was it was advantage for them because they were tall and they're running they get it in the play and they run to us and you find one against one a counter attack if you keep a ball a little bit longer and keep patient you you you, you should get a goal also at the same time we get a couple of chances we should be composed and finish had luck thank you coach you're welcome I will now be joined by the coach of Namibia. Coach, we saw the bench up celebrating after the very first win in the Kosafa Under-20 Youth Championship for the 2020 edition. How would you sum up that game? Um, not good towards the end. Um, you know, when you when you work with kids um, and they don't do what you what you taught them, um, what you've trained on the training ground, it makes life a bit difficult. You know, and you know when you don't listen. It's also a skill that, that once that you as a coach need to teach the boys. But it's difficult, you know, we, we've, we've been only training for three weeks and you have to come and implement all those things, all the technical things of the game. Luckily, we, we got the, the, the three points, but not a, happy, not a good performance. It's about identifying key moments in the game. And like you're saying that the performance overall, not too pleasing for you, but also those key moments is what earned you a victory today. Look, uh, the most important thing is the three points. Um, we still have one game to go against Comoros. We will come and fight again because, um, you know, what we teach us boys is to fight until the last end. They fought, you know, but we really made silly mistakes and we allowed Malawi to come at, at us. Um, we were just supposed to keep the ball till the end or till the few last, the, the last minutes, but we couldn't. Um, the, you know, the wind is also against us. The condition is difficult for us because we are not used to this wind. So it was difficult for us. It was really, 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 really difficult. Thank you, coach. Congratulations. Okay, thank you. The coach of Namibia, coach James Brits. As we look at what transpired today, the main focus was on Group B, the Comores going down to Zambia. Namibia, it was a do or die game for them. They needed this victory up against Malawi. So now we look at what this means as far as the group standings are concerned that all the teams have now played two games apiece and now it is about what will transpire in the final group stages game we look at group a mozambique with the edge south africa right there in it fighting zimbabwe and lesotho can they maybe try and get some pride from this game as they have waved a goodbye from the competition when you look at group b that are the teams that we saw rather those are the teams that we saw in action here today zambia still leading two out of two wins for them malawi they got that victory in the opening round namibia got one against malawi the Comores, it is as good as done for them but they might still have a say in terms of who will progress through another competition we look at group c made out of three teams also that will come down to who wants it the most between Angola as well as Eswatini. Tomorrow we keep on bringing you all the action as Eswatini will be up against the Botswana kickoff for that one. 12.30 and later on South Africa against Mozambique. It will kick off simultaneously as the game between Zimbabwe and Lesotho. South Africa a showdown clash up against the Mozambique. These are the two teams number one and number two on a group A. So exciting times in the Kosafa under 20 youth championship. The weather did not play ball as mentioned earlier on but the football definitely delivered well from myself Lerato Pajo and the fantastic team it's goodbye